Caro, talking about important people at footy clubs, what's the future of Neil Baum, do you think, who's been a crucial addition to Richmond and to Damien Hardwick, uh, but for whatever reason has found himself slightly in a, in a different role recently? Yeah, well, he, he's left the football department and Tim Livingston and Blair Hartley are now co-bosses of that football department. Yep. Tim Livingston up in the hub. I've been critical of some of the off-field issues that Richmond has faced and feel that Neil Baum there might have been the steadying hand that could have helped both Tim Livingston and Damien Hardwick. The club won't be sending Neil Baum up next week on September 1. They are, they are Brendan Gale, the CEO, is going to return. Maybe one other media person. I'm not too sure about that. But I just find it interesting that some clubs are bolstering their footy staff and asking for special permission. Richmond are not. Because of COVID, Neil Baum now finds himself marginalised and I know that there are talks at other clubs where they just wonder whether he, despite the fact he's not closer to the end than the start of his career, that he might go there. And the Adelaide Football Club is Adelaide. one where Neil Baum's name has come up in dispatches. Any, anyone else? At Adelaide. No, no, anyone else apart from Adelaide, Well, that, you think? that's the club I'm hearing about. But Neil Barnes has got a job at Richmond. I mean, they've, they've offered him... A, he has a contract or he has a job next year, but it won't be inside footy to the degree that it was. And I just wonder whether Neil Barnes could... He's been Mr Fixit at several football clubs and with big, big results. And I wonder whether Matthew Nix, might, he might be the perfect person for a... Mac, not, not that Adam Ke Kelly would leave, but he'd be a great per a sounding board for both of them. Well, Adam Kelly would be the operator side of football and yep. Neil Baum, the old sage, guiding, the soft people skills. All of that. You know, re healed that football club for want of a better term. Is that what Chris Bond was to you for many years? He was very strong. He was very operational, very strong and held me to account and held Mark Harvey to account. There'd be conversations on a Monday. Gee, we need to talk how you were on the Saturday. We didn't quite like that. What do you think? And mm. So, yeah, very strong. So, Caro, Barmy has been a great sounding board for all the coaches that he's worked with, but particularly with Damien Hardwick, and Damien himself found himself involved in a pretty ugly spat, spat in the end with David Schwartz last week. Yeah, well, he, he went in to defend his player, Tom Lynch, and some of the comments about Tom Lynch were absolutely ridiculous. Yep. I mean, you know, and, and oh, this is David Schwartz responding to the fact that, you know, he cried in the first quarter of the 2000 grand final. He, um, David Schwartz actually threw Barmy in and said, um, maybe um, Dimmer should go and speak to Barmy. He coached me and he'd know. He's a good mentor for, Dim mentor for Dimmer. When you need someone to sort it out, get big Barmy. Now... You know, Richmond say that they just can't get him up there. They can. They've chosen not to. They're trying to build another strong football boss and they say that Tim Livingston is that man. But I just question whether some of the things that have happened to Richmond on the road... They've had some, they've had some great games and some great performances. And Damien Hardwick is clearly doing a much better job. He obviously struggled in the early days of COVID back in round two and three. But I, I still think it's interesting and I'm sure the clubs will be looking at Neil Barnes. Ross, have you got any issues with the way Hardwick has handled himself this year? This year? Yeah. Uh, this year's a long time. I'll go back to the... Sw I like what he did. I know it was a bit uncomfortable mm. for a few, but you know what? His player was getting attacked. We all thought it was a pile-on. And as the leader, all eyes were watching. His player group, you want us to be aggressive. They saw an aggressive Damien Hardwick. What you are, your players will be. So his team are what he is, which is aggressive and no backward step. <laughs>